Hey guys, what's up? Pixels here, and in today's video, we're doing a Henry the Red build on Evil Dead the game. Uh, this is my best build for him that I love to use. Uh, the dude is just an absolute tank. Uh, he might not do high damage, but most of the games where I've actually had this, uh, I've actually finished first with damage. So, you know, it might not spec into a lot of damage, but at the same time, you know, uh, it's keeping yourself in the fight and sustaining yourself in the combat longer, you know, soaking up loads of damage. And not only that, when you're soaking up damage and stuff like that, it also reflects damage back. Uh, to the enemies as well by 30% so that's really good too so uh, anyways let's begin so the first thing that we're going to go straight for is uh, obviously the last word we have to spend a point on that uh, I want to say I'm not really a huge fan of this perk it can be pretty good on some cases but uh, you know a lot of the times you know spamming iframes is more of a priority uh, to keep yourself in the fight a bit longer, you know, so then you can take like take no damage while you're doing finishes. So, you know, the last word again is a bit weird. But anyways, uh, the first thing we go straight for Henry is shield because, you know, this guy is respect around shield. And, you know, he can actually have five shield bars where, you know, other survivors can only have four. And obviously, uh, once you get to his uh, last perk, it actually gives you an extra 10% in the health and shield bar as well. So that's really good. And then we're going to put 10% in improved amulet as well, which is great. Uh, the next one uh, that we're going to go for is tougher than hell. Again, what we're just going to do here is just make this guy into a tank. Like I said, take as much damage as possible. And not only that, when you're taking all this damage, it's going to reflect the damage back by 30%, uh, which I think is amazing. So uh, anyways, uh, let's move on to the next one. So the next one, we're just going to go for Artful Dodger. One point is enough. Uh, the next one, Industrial Strength, go up for that 25% maximum health. Like I said, you really want this guy to be a tank, so increasing his health is very key right uh, right now. So uh, the next one we're going to go for is obviously four points in Devastating Force, and we're going to put three points in uh, uh, Seeing Stars. So now we have like three points to play with. Honestly, like just having these right here just makes this guy like tanky enough and doing enough damage to the point where, you know, you can pretty much win games with this guy because he's absolutely insane. So the three points I like to actually spend it in, uh, I like having a quicker cooldown on his active ability, so it knocks, you know, 6 seconds off a 60 second cooldown, so 54 seconds, every 54 seconds you can literally use his ability, which is great. Uh, most of the time you will try and save his ability for the likes of, you know, uh, the bosses spawning or, you know, dealing with possessed units, um, which is very important. So, you know, if you're playing against a warlord, you know, having this perk is actually very helpful because they spam the basic possession quite a lot right now. And not only Warlord, but Necromancers do it too. So this actually really helps out being able to just obviously use that ability. Of course, it only has like a, you know, seven second duration. But at the same time, that those seven seconds, you can basically uh, be the difference of just, you know, taking no damage and then wiping out that basic possessed. And like I said, you can use it every 54 seconds, which is amazing as well. So... Uh, that, like I said, I think it's a really good thing. So then we have like a point free to spend in. And the main thing I just go for really is just incoming damage reduced when you have an active shield. You know, it's entirely up to you where you want to spend this last point. Uh, it's either that one or you go for improved amulet. Uh, I'd probably recommend going for the reinforced amulet more though because, you know, uh, going for the shield bar length, it's, it's not really that massive. And maybe if you want, if you don't want to spam iframe so much, you could go for last word and get an extra 35% on your melee damage. But to me, I like to go for reinforced amulet on this guy, which I think is really good. So, um, uh, yeah, this is my best build for him. We're obviously going to just go and discuss on how to spend the pink fuck on this guy now. Okay, so spending the pink fuck on Henry is a little bit different than what I like to do on other survivors. So the main thing I go for at the start is stamina because I want two dodges as a warrior. It's very important. Obviously, this guy is a tank. He probably won't be dodging too much. But, you know, when you're fighting the bosses, it can be a bit hectic. So uh, putting points into stamina at the start can be very helpful with those, especially early game possessions as well when you don't have quite a lot of loot. You don't have a lot of pink fuck. Uh, having the two dodges is really helpful out uh, helpful with that so uh, be sure to put two into stamina at the start and then from there I like to go to shield and you know buffing this guy sh guy's shield up as much as possible because uh, I want to get the five shield bar lengths and you know while I'm looting picking up amulets and stuff that means every time I spend an amulet it's going to give me sh two shield bar lengths so uh, you know going for those two at the start is really good and then since we have the shield obviously maxed out um, the next priority that I like to go for is melee because uh, next thing I want to do is actual damage. So having the damage and the attack speed is very good as well. Uh, so going for that. So stamina, uh, shield, then melee, and then go for health. And then obviously fear and range just come in last because they're kind of a bit irrelevant on, on warrior classes like that. So 
Like I said, having five shield bars is very great on this guy. Uh, it just makes him almost unkillable, which is amazing. And honestly, uh, I spent a lot of time doing a build for this guy because I feel like he's a really good beginner character for people. Uh, you know, if you're new to the game or something like that, and you just you want a character that you know can soak up damage while you can still do a little bit of damage yourself, this is the guy that you want to play. Um, but the main thing is obviously is his shield and you know looking after his shield bars and stuff like that is, is very key on this character because you want to make him as tanky as possible. Uh, but yeah, there was a few builds I was testing out with, you know, like doing possessed um, damage reductions and stuff like that, which were actually were very viable as well. Uh, but I just kept telling myself, you know, you know, this, I think this build is enough to put as his best, like, overall build, you know. Uh, but there will be other builds in the future for this character. Uh, I'm just labeling this as my best build for him. This is, like, the type of one that I'll always go to, you know, if I want to win a game or something real quick. Or, you know, if I just want to have a bit of a casual experience, I'll put this build on and then, you know, I can just have fun just going around slaughtering things and, and everything like that. Uh, but, yeah, guys, this has been my best Henry the Red build. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> this guy, like I said, he's very basic. So, I mean, he has, like, probably one of the best kits in the game as well. Uh, like I said, uh, I made this guy S tier back in the beta. And when I did my tier list, and I still think he is S tier. He's absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, he's just there, obviously, to soak up all the damage for the team. While, you know, the actual damage users can then do the damage themselves. Uh, but honestly, it is a really fun build. I had a lot of fun doing it as well. Uh, you know, I spent, like I said, I spent a lot of time doing this. I did loads of different builds for him. Um, but yeah, this is the best one I could come up with. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy this build when you do test it out for yourselves. Like I said, having that quick cool down on his ability is absolutely amazing and very underrated. Uh, but yeah, I will be doing obviously a few more build videos in the future for each character as well. So don't worry about that. Uh, you'll have different builds to test out from me as well. I've actually had some really good ones on Army Darkness Ash that I want to get out to everyone as well. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that sub button if you are new to the channel. If you want to see more Evil Dead content, if you want to see more build videos, all the news for Evil Dead and stuff, uh, I'll be doing a lot of that. And I also stream this game Monday or Thursday on this channel so you don't have to go anywhere else for your Evil Dead content. And I have been Pixels, you're my awesome viewers, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.